Welcome to Find BI Training for Beginners, Chapter 6 Add Component Interaction. In the previous chapter, we learned how to create visual charts for data analysis. However, because real world businesses are often complex, the result of one component can hardly support the conclusions of the analysis, so that multiple components are needed to obtain important information. In this chapter, you will learn how to use Find BI's interaction feature to uncover important information. When analyzing data, we often start by realizing the business problem at the macro level through the chart, and then drill down to the next level within a page until we find the specific problem. For example, we notice that gross profit margin is much lower in Hunan province than in other areas and want to find out the reason. We will then click on Hunan province and drill down to see that the gross profit margin for Changsha city is only 13.63%. When drilling down further, we find that the gross profit margin of Changsha Mikesihu store is 0.71%. Finally, when we continue to drill down to the product name of this store, we can see that large quantities of Dove chocolate have been ordered at a low price. We then identify the cause of the abnormal data. So how do you achieve this? Let's do an exercise. First, click on the Add Component icon to add a new component. We will still use the data from the Commodity Sales Schedule table. Next, we will introduce a new concept, Gross Profit Margin. It is equal to the amount of gross profit divided by sales and multiplied by 100%. As an important indicator of profitability, the higher the gross profit margin, the more profitable it is. We click on the plus sign to the right of the indicator to add a new calculation field. Then enter the formula to calculate the gross profit margin, sum AGG, gross profit, divided by sum AGG, sales. It should be noted that the fields in the formula must be selected from the list on the left and cannot be entered manually. If you are not sure about whether the format of the formula is correct, you can look at the tips in the bottom left corner. Below you can see an explanation of the function, which dynamically returns the summation of the indicator fields based on the current dimension of analysis, i.e. the fields dragged into the dimension box. For example, if my current analysis dimension is province, the value returned by sum AGG, gross profit, is the summed gross profit for each province. Let's rename the field as gross profit margin and click OK. In order to create a drill down from province to city to store name to product name, we need to create a drill directory under which these fields are placed in order. How to create this drill directory? We can click on the province field and drop down to create a drill directory, or we can drag another field, such as the city field above the province field to create the drill directory. The directory name is automatically generated, but we can change it. Then we drag the rest of the needed fields into the drill directory, making sure that the fields are placed in order we want them to be drilled down to. Now, the drill directory is ready. The remaining steps are very simple, drag the drill directory into the dimensions box, and gross profit margin, gross profit, cost amount, sales into the indicators box. Choose to create a group table. By doing this, a group table that can be drilled down level by level is ready. Then let's change the numeric format of gross profit margin into percentage. Now sort the data in the table in ascending order of gross profit margin, and we can see that the gross profit margin of Hunan province is relatively low. By clicking on the drill arrow on the right, we can keep drilling down to the next level and find out the cause of the abnormal data. Lastly, rename the component as gross profit margin analysis and the analysis is complete. So far, we have created so many components in total, and we will find that each component displays a lot of data that is not analyzed deeply enough. If we were to set up separate filters for each component's data, it would be very cumbersome. We want to be able to view the data in the range we want at our leisure, and this can be achieved by using filter component, but if we want to filter data from multiple components at the same time, we first need to put them all on the same dashboard. A well-designed dashboard is a panel for combining components. A well-designed dashboard not only coordinates organization and helps to identify the key to a problem, but also allows others to understand at a glance what we are trying to say or to think outside the box and expand the analysis based on it. Let's click on the Add Dashboard button below and drag all the components on the left into the dashboard. 
Then we click on the Filter Components button in the top left corner and we can see that there are different types of filter components in here. Let's start by filtering on the date. We choose the Year and Month Filter Component from Time Filter Component and drag it into the dashboard. It will automatically jump to the edit page of the filter component. Because we need to filter on the date, we need to drag the date field into the field box. The field can be selected by component or by table. As we are using the same table for all the components here, we can select the field either by component or by table. Find the date field and drag it to the right and click OK. Let's see how the components work. By setting the year and month filter component to August 2020, all components in the dashboard are showing the data in this period. Now we notice that the combined graph is filtered to show only a dot, which is very unattractive. If we don't want it to be controlled by the filter component, what should we do? We can return to the edit page of the filter component and deselect the combined graph in the control range on the right. Similarly, we also want to filter on commodity category, so we can select the text drop-down filter component in text filter component. Drag commodity category into the field box and change the title of the filter component to commodity category. Click OK and then we can perform an in-depth analysis of a commodity category. Now let's say we are looking at the top 10 products by sales and we temporarily want to do further analysis on a particular product. But at this point there is no filter component on the dashboard to control the product name, what should we do? This is where the default linkage between components can be utilized. Between components made from the same table, clicking on the data in the table will trigger a linkage filtering effect. First, we clear the settings of the filter component, then click on the product name, then the other components will filter out the data related to that product. We find that no matter which product we select, the percentage of the pie chart is 100%, so that there is no meaningful analysis. How can we cancel the linkage of the pie chart when we click on the product name? We only need to click on the right side of the top 10 products by sales, component and drop down to manually set up linkage. We then cancel the can be bidirectional linked setting of the pie chart and click OK. As you can see, the pie chart is now not linked by this group table. After the analysis, we can click on Clear All Linkages at the top of the page to restore all components.